Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, got these little uh, seedlings uh, falling everywhere. From uh, I think it's one of the oak trees here. And, uh, well, I just keep them on the water down here in my uh, water basin up there. The uh, water appears a little yellow. And the, the bird bath has is, is got kind of yellow water in it, so very much pollinated, and, uh, which, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure the water is, is uh, very uh, good for the birds, because out in nature, well, oh, I see a male tohe just jumping around on the ground looking for food over there, wish he'd kind of come over here, uh, because in nature, the, the water uh, is, is typically moving in like a creek or a river or something like that that they so the, that they you know may feed from so uh, yeah birds do drink out of puddles and that uh, they find water where they can uh, but uh, you know I want to try to make sure and keep the water source here clean clean as I can but I, 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 the sun's coming bright this way as you can tell the sun on my face uh, and I can actually see pollen falling. <laughs> so I just cleaned my table on my deck <clears throat> yesterday, and uh, it'll be all yellow today. And cleaned some of, some of the rails, as I mentioned last night. Um, anyway, it's a gorgeous day out. Uh, I need to be out filming in the woods or something somewhere. Uh, and that's a safe activity, uh, even with the coronavirus, because I'm not around anybody. I'm not touching anything. So, uh, you know, I encourage. We can still, you know, get outside and enjoy the days and that. Uh, we've, we've had some rain lately, but uh, it's uh, it's beautiful out. We can enjoy the birds and that as well. But this channel is, uh, for, you know, for learning and educational purposes. And, and try to encourage uh, you guys to uh, also set up your own feeder. Uh, and, and hopefully, you know, you can learn uh, from some of the the things you see on this channel as well as uh, some of the mistakes we make so uh, what not to do so anyway uh, just just want to drop in and say hello uh, we've got the house feeder here now there is a bird house back kind of, I guess along this view here we're trying to uh, on a tree in the background so uh, y'all please Keep an eye on on that and see if we have a bird that lights on it. And uh, I, I saw one the other day, and I saw a bird go in it. Uh, the I got three uh, eastern bluebird houses up in this yard. Two of them are occupied, and I've got a, a warbler uh, feeder. Kind of, it's you can't see it because it's behind the roof of this uh, feeder house. Um, but uh, I'm just. Uh, Look, look at the feed, feed in here to make sure it's, it's okay. The quality of it's okay. I always check the condition of your uh, bird feed after it's rained in that because moisture can accumulate and uh, the, the, that uh, jeopardizes. Uh, if that that feed does not have a chance to dry out, uh, it jeopardize. It can mold and bacteria can get in it and jeopardize the quality of the food. So. Uh, I have actually a little masonry trial that I uh, usually bring out here that I can stir around. I'll probably bring it out when I bring this other feeder back and then I've got to come uh, bring some of the fresh water. But using that trial, you can move it around and that lets the wind and the sun kind of dry out your seed in that. Uh, you know, make sure and get in the corners of, of your feeder as well. Uh, to. So, because things can gather in a certain place and gather moisture, and that's what you don't want. Uh, and that keeps your feeders cleaner, kind of overall, because uh, you do need to clean your feeders every now and then. Uh, kind of a cursory clean by dumping it out, spraying it off or something. Uh, and then, gosh, there was, must have been a bird on the ground right by my feet because he just flew off. Um, and this is what is falling, just fell on my shirt. You probably see them falling like rain. The wind picks up a little bit, and those seeds uh, come falling down, and these are just full of pollen. Um, additionally, we get big things like this that are just seed things that are just just full of pollen, actually a little seed, and that as well. 
but uh, anyway, yeah, you have a cursory clean of your feeder, uh, you know, every time you empty it out, <clears throat> you have the opportunity to uh, refill it, rinse it off, let it dry, and then put the seed back in it. But uh, every now and then, periodically, you need to do a deep clean, and that deep clean <clears throat> involves, I'm sorry, I've got a pollen, I must be getting to my throat. The deep clean involves uh, one part of bleach and nine parts of water. Uh, if, you, if you're uncertain of that, you can go to the Audubon.org site, and uh, they have a recipe for it uh, there about, uh, or just, uh, and I think, it just, you can Google, I think, cleaning bird feeders. Uh, and there's another method, I think, using vinegar as well. But you definitely, after you clean them, you need to, Kind of rinse, rinse them off and let them dry before you uh, use them again. You don't want you know the, the, the bleach or anything to be ingested by the birds. So um, anyway, just a few tips this morning. Beautiful day, and gosh, I need to be out filming and making another uh, wildlife film. I, if you hadn't seen it, uh, there's uh, and it'll come up. I, I queued it up in Nightbot, uh, which is a uh, automated uh, tool that I use in this channel. Uh, about a video. It's really kind of my first video of, of, of like some birds in Florida. We were down there on the coast visiting and, and, uh, and you know, I shot some birds in there that, uh, that shot as in filmed and photographed, not with a gun, uh, birds. And uh, anyway, I hope to do that uh, more this spring weather permitting. So. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get this going here so we get the birds back. They're probably getting mad at me. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the chat, the questions. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for the moderators for, for helping out. They do the heavy lifting on this channel. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'll be right back. It's a little uh, trial that I use. As I mentioned, uh, I, I'm going to take some of the wet seed that's on the bottom and try to turn this, turn it over a little bit, make sure I get all the way. That's what's good about these edges. I can get to the, that. I can get to the corners and all that to make sure no wet seed accumulates in uh, any of these edges. And that way I can, the wet seed can be put on top where it can get some air. And, uh, and not stay moist. Air and sun and it'll dry out. Uh, this one, I kind of need to clean out the base of this. Be right back. You also want to be mindful that uh, these catch trays that are on the bottom of these feeders, uh, they catch seed that the bird might not have eaten and they fall down here. What happens is uh, when the rain comes, that fallen seed, that water, it, it actually has, as you can see, holes in the bottom, so drain holes are supposed to drain the water out. But if you get have a lot of uh, feed that has dropped down in that, sometimes it'll block the holes and the water will stay in there and therefore uh, the moisture and the seed will uh, stay, the seed will stay moist and, and can go bad. So I, I cleaned it out with a trial here and then uh, I had the water that I brought over to refill the water basins and the water bath and, and that and uh, rinse that off, get that off there. Because I don't want the wet feed to just stay there 
and get bad because some birds, as you've seen, the dove was lit on the house a little while ago and was feeding off of this tray here. And so uh, I want to make sure and keep that clean. Uh, I'm going to probably rinse that one too. I scraped it out, but I need to rinse that out uh, because it'll accumulate up here and then you'll get uh, some mold and that that will accumulate at the bottom here. So uh, important tip is, is to always uh, keep keep track of the condition of your food. If you want to keep healthy birds around, the last thing we want, it's better not to have a feeder than to have a feeder that distributes uh, uh, bad food or provides bad food for the birds because they can get sick and diseased and you'll, you'll end up killing the birds as opposed to uh, feeding the birds. So um, I see a white-breasted nuthatch going up and down a tree right there. Here the uh, Peter, Peter, Peter from the Tufted Titmouse. Get a lot more green. Hopefully we'll green out and we won't see the cars in the background uh, there as well. Anyway, let me uh, rinse this off here and, and put the water in and, and get, uh, get you guys back in action. I'll probably stir the bottom feeders too to, to stir up the seed and make sure it stays dry. The deer didn't clean us out last night. We did have the eight point, I think, came last night a little earlier than normal and had a little buttonhead buck with him. Uh, it's amazing just to see, if you see that fence in the background, uh, that's, that's about uh, three, three or three and a half feet tall. Deer just, big deer, just jump over that fence, that eight point, and a little button buck. Uh, his son, I guess, uh, just jumps it as well. But uh, uh, nature and wildlife is just amazing. So. I uh, appreciate everybody uh, tuning in and uh, uh, hope we're all learning something here today. And uh, to the Missouri class, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Dick's class, I, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And uh, we had a, a college professor of ornitholo ornithology uh, here uh, uh, that was on the channel the other day and said she might recommend it to her students as well. So uh, make sure. Uh, if the students, you, you can, in the page description, there's a printable PDF file uh, that you that prints out and it, and it gives the birds, pictures of the birds and the name of the birds that normally uh, visit this feeder. And you can use that uh, to as a guide. When a bird lands on the feeder, you can look at the picture and say, oh, it's a, it's a northern mockingbird or something. So uh, try, try to use that and there's a, uh, four videos that I filmed in the past that had uh, labels of the birds as they came in uh, that, that I put together and that's in the page description as well. You can look at those when, when action or activity here is, is slow. So uh, that's one learning activity. You can use a printable PDF uh, as a game uh, too. Uh, set a clock for a period of 15 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever uh, you, you choose. You'll see more birds in 30 minutes than 15 obviously got a nap in my eye, um, but uh, check how many times you see a bird come on there, just make a, on your printable PDF, uh, uh, put a check for you saw that species and the number of times you saw it during that time period, and then add up the number of uh, total sightings uh, of all, all the birds there, and then you can kind of look at the number of species you saw as well. But you can use that's that's kind of a fun thing to do to kind of help learn the birds. But it's also a thing you can use as a game. It's just because some people may not see certain birds, and, and they they can learn from it as well. Not not to make it too competitive, but uh, it's also a learning experience, and that's kind of what this channel is. So let me uh, rinse the base of this off. You can see it looks kind of nasty, and then stir up the bottom, and then fill the water feeders in that because. Uh, I'm just a maintenance man. So, anyway, thank you. Much better. All right, got that house full. Like I said, along this line, somewhere along here, is a birdhouse. If y'all keep an eye on that, we're also trying to keep an eye on the, the hummingbird feeder over here. Uh, we have not uh, uh, seen a hummer yet. Uh, so if anybody sees a bird that I don't recognize, ask the moderators. Uh, also, uh, if we see a new bird, 
Uh, that's that's what we're all hoping for to see different species of the food in here. But if we see a hummingbird, mark the time. Or if you see the bird on a uh, bird on the back house, mark the time, and we can go back and review it. Now. Any bird you don't identify, uh, try to mark the time that you saw it. And uh, I put a tip in there by googling on the timestamps in the top part of your chat. There's three vertical dots. You can click that on, and it says toggle uh, timestamp. You can toggle it on or off, but it's great to leave it on because then you can see when somebody made a comment. So when you rewind. Uh, on the stream, 12 hour stream, you can also pull down the chat to that particular time where you are and see what happened and that way it helps you go back and review birds. Just just another tip on uh, using uh, the stream effectively. All right, let's get back to work. Again, a handy tool here, flexible bucket, uh, weighs practically nothing. It comes in different sizes, so you nest them. Uh, I use mine nearly as a wheelbarrow sometimes, or for gardening and that, uh, where you can uh, put plants and dirt, shovels. I tote seed back and forth in it when it's dry. I use it for water, because when I do it like that, it's got a pore spout. Uh, handy little tool and of course it's just a regular uh, masonry trial small one I've got uh, these uh, some of these tools uh, links to them Amazon links on my page description under this stream so if, if uh, you, you see it's something you can use or are interested in you can go check it out the links take it to Amazon and they've got reviews of the items as well so you, you can get not just my opinion but others Okay guys, I think I'm done. And I need to let the show go on because the birds are the stars here. I see an eastern Phoebe just flew up, landed on a branch there. They nest, have a nest right on, right outside my garage underneath the, the screen porch. There, we've got a little mud type nest there. And I saw them hatched three chicks there last year. So uh, they just keep multiplying. And they're the birds that kind of do the they just, they just keep at it, it's repetitive. So uh, listen out for the, the vocalization of the Eastern people. Thanks again, have a great day. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. We have a lot of visitors from the UK, uh, some from Australia and Canada, and uh, I think Spain. Uh, Spain, uh, put more folks in Spain with the COVID-19. I understand it's gotten really bad over there, there in Italy. But uh, you, everybody take care. Just limit your exposure. Be careful out there, and God bless. Walking back, uh, my driveway back to my garage to put this stuff up. 
I saw feathers on the ground. So apparently, one of one of the resident cats got got must, it looks like doves. Uh, got one of the doves on the ground. So not not great news. Uh, the grass is kind of growing in the grass. You see on the bottom feeder and some in the background. I don't know if you can see it on the top cam, but it's getting about that high. And that's from uh, feeder dumps. What happens is when the, the feed down here starts to get kind of dicey in my opinion, I go spread some leaves out, I dump it, and then I spread the leaves back over so the birds won't find it. Uh, but those those are seeds and, and those wet seeds germinate and now I've got this, this tall grass. And the reason I mentioned the, the, the height of the grass is because I think the cats are, might be using it to kind of lurk in the grass uh, to get at the birds. So cats and birds don't mix very well. So anyway, just saw those feathers, thought I'd mention that uh, and uh, what's going on right here. Anyway, have a good one.